Uh, my name is Jason Westbrock. I am a civil engineer and a vice president with Bar Engineering Company. The civil engineering discipline covers a really broad range of um, types of work. It could range from transportation and bridges to high-rise buildings to uh, uh, roads and grading and earthwork to um, water control and dams and levees and so um, there's, a, there's a broad range of what civil engineering represents. I particularly focus on water and surface water movements so flood control, flood protection, uh, stormwater management, um, basically keeping the water when it rains and, and snows in the places where it will uh, uh, do the least amount of damage to human infrastructure. Uh, I knew fairly early on that I wanted to be an engineer. Um, I uh, that was probably about my junior year of high school when you know, things started to line up that you know, it, it was the math and the sciences that I was really good at and really enjoyed. I liked that, that logical thinking, the, the problem solving elements, the um, you know, stepping through um, you know, a, a big problem and taking it one bite at a time and figuring out what those pieces should be and then uh, approaching it that way. And so it was probably about, you know, I was probably 16, 17 years old when, when I got the, the inkling and the direction that, that engineering was, the, was for me and what I should be looking into. And then I proceeded in my college search by look, you know, just starting with schools that had engineering programs. I, um, I, for me, I wanted to go to a four-year school that offered the full engineering curricula. I didn't um, have that big of an interest in changing schools. Um, you know, after two years and doing, say, a pre-engineering degree at, at, a, at a private school and then going to a, a state university or place that offered uh, engineering. I was looking for you know to to stay in one place for that full uh, four to five years, and so that's that's how I narrowed my search. And then you know there was the affordability piece and and the uh, geographic location um, element, and and then just basically looking for a school that felt like home. Okay, so um, at, at Montana State University, uh, civil engineering program was a four-year program. Um, because I did change majors twice in there, it set me back. I ended up finishing in five years. I probably could have finished in four and a half, but I pushed it hard. Um, but it would have been um, a couple of semesters of 20 credits, and, and there, there wasn't the need or an urgent rush to, to finish that fast. So uh, I stretched out into five. Um, I also was pretty involved in, in uh, on-campus activities, and so um, really enjoyed the overall college experience and, and was able to accomplish a lot uh, by stretching the, uh, the curricula out. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, when, when I got to school, you know, and you, you pick your major, it's pretty well laid out for you what your, what your classes are that you need to take, especially in the first two years, because then once you get into your, um, your, your major curricula, then uh, there's, a, there's a fair amount of prerequisites that you actually have to have covered before you can get into those. And so, you know, it was the maths and the sciences, the physics, chemistry, and, and uh, calculus that um, needed to have in order as your, your, your price of entry to get into some of those advanced courses. And, um, actually, in, in college, tried a couple of different engineering disciplines. I started off in chemical engineering. Um, I spent a semester as, uh, in the mechanical engineering curricula, and then, then um, uh, found this uh, water resource engineering discipline, and, and that's really where I found my home. Uh, very much so, yeah. Um, there's not a, uh, I don't work alone on, on very many projects myself. Um, most of our projects are multidisciplinary, so I will often be the civil engineering representative, and the, the, the scope of the project, depending on what it is, we may need six or eight or two or three civil engineers in the job, and then usually there's an, there's an electrical engineering component, a mechanical, a structural engineering component, and so um, bringing in that, those groups of people together to work together towards uh, meeting the goal of what our uh, client has set forth for us. Uh, my advice for any uh, student considering civil engineering or the engineering field in general is take as much math as you can uh, in high school, in college. 
get the math, get the physics, get the chemistry, um, take it because it's going to help lay that foundation for you when you um, get on campus and things are a little more, uh, a little less regimented for you. Um, it'll help you um, start to establish those modes of thinking and that, that concrete sequential type uh, thinking process and that'll help you a lot and once that'll help you be more successful once you get on campus.